Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a collaboration with the artist Alexi Brewer and I wanted to show you my process beforehand. I had a bit of trouble cementing down an idea. So what I did is I'd made some sketches in my sketchbook and I finally decided on this final illustration which I then took into my light box and transferred it onto um, watercolor paper. So. This is a collaboration with the artist Alexi Brewer. She's an amazing artist and an amazing YouTuber. Her channel is so much fun and she does like really unique fun videos. Like my favorite video of hers is the 45 second Pokemon challenge where she challenges herself to draw Pokemon in 45 seconds and it's really funny and it's really entertaining and she's just a great person and I really love her coloring style especially. So yeah, I'm really excited to be doing this collaboration with her. Um, so go check out her channel, show her some love, and tell her I said hi. Anyway, for the collaboration, we decided to do something that was really cute and really summery, and something that also included both of our favorite flowers. So the flower she gave me is Stargazer Lilies, which is what I'm drawing now, and I gave her Peach Hibiscus Flowers, and her drawing is so pretty and so soft and so cute and I'm so excited to color it and I'm really 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 excited to see how she colors this one because like I said her coloring style is so pretty. She uses Copic markers um, like me so I'm really excited to see how she does and what colors she chooses. I love doing collabs and I'm really excited to be doing this with her. Anyway, yes. Um, it's kind of funny because her style is really different from mine. She's more of like an anime style, where mine is, I don't know, I guess more like western cartoony. But it's going to be really interesting to see how the different styles kind of like play together in each other's different artworks. So I'm really, yeah, I'm really pumped. Um, anyway. I will tell you guys a little bit more about my process. Um, I showed you guys before the sketches I did in my sketchbook. Um, I wasn't sure what direction I wanted to go with this. First I had like a lady like looking back over her shoulder and I was gonna have like the lilies in her hair and I didn't really like it so I was playing around with a few different ideas before I decided on this one and then also in my sketchbook you could see that I did a lot of uh, sketches of the lilies themselves from different views and if I don't know what something looks like before I go into drawing it. That's what I like to do. I like to make lots of little sketches from lots of different angles until I kind of have a feeling of how it all works together and it just makes the rest of the process go super smooth and super easy. So yeah, I did that and then on the next page of my sketchbook I cemented down the idea that I wanted so I put as much detail in it as I could. Of course there are some mistakes and that is when I took it into Photoshop. Well, I scanned it first and took it into Photoshop, fixed some of the proportions, fixed some of the placing, and then I took that and transferred that sketch onto a fresh piece of watercolor paper. So that's why you can see like a faint pencil sketch before I actually start inking. And then once I ink everything down the first time, like the first layer of ink, I erase all the pencil behind it. And that's when I go in and change the line weights. Changing line weights is I think really important, especially if you're doing something that's so reliant on line work, because it makes your whole drawing seem more dynamic and it's really hard to get a lined work to look dynamic because it's just plain lines, but if you change the line weight of it, it helps a lot in making it look more three-dimensional and like there's some kind of movement behind it. So yeah, that is how my process worked and I think that's pretty much all the time I have for it. Go check out Alexi's video. Like I said, her drawing is so cute and if you're here from Alexi's video and you're watching this for the first time in my channel, welcome. Thank you for coming and thank you for having fun with me today and I will see you guys next week when we color each other's line works and yeah, stay tuned. Bye guys!